What's up YouTube? Just wanted to make a video showing my new, new to me, 2001 BMW GS 1150. Did I get scammed? I don't think so. I uh, had to drive four and a half hours to pick this beauty up. Got it up north of Minneapolis. It was a long drive. Got up at four in the morning to go get it. But I'll tell you what, so far I am absolutely in love. It, uh, it has very high miles, but I can tell it was extremely well taken care of during its lifetime, 144,802. But you don't get to that kind of mileage without being well maintained. Uh, just a quick overview, it's got some, some good upgrades. It has Jesse panniers, I think, I think that's how you say it. Got a little bit of wear on them, but I mean, it's a GS bike. Everything's gonna have a little wear on it. Um, the locks work, everything's the locks and latches are in good shape. It has SW Motec engine guard, which has definitely seen a few drops. It's missing a crossbar underneath, so I'm gonna fabricate one of those. But definitely a nice, nice engine guard. Has fuel, looks like it's CPC. Fuel line quick disconnects. So that'll be nice when I take the tank off here to look at the wiring. Has aftermarket PIAA lights with a nice big aluminum bracket. Those are not currently working. Uh, the previous owner said that it was intermittent that you were supposed to hold the high beam switch and they'd pop on, but I haven't gotten it to work at all. So I'm probably just gonna wire them up on a Bosch 40 amp relay um, and a toggle switch just to, for ease of operation. It's got a skid plate on it all the way down at the bottom. These are really nice bikes. They come with Brembo four piston calipers on the front and rear as well. Uh, very solid brakes. This is the non-servo brake model, so it does not have the crappy electronic servo brakes that everyone hates. Um, these brakes are very grabby. It stops really nice. Uh, nice thing, the ABS works too. Uh, I haven't had any issues with the ABS not working. I was going about 50 mile an hour down gravel and slammed on the brakes and nothing locked up, so that was nice. Has a uh, SW Mo or a Touratech steering stop which is nice. I don't know if it's technically a steering stop or basically prevents your bike from slamming against that lower A-arm for your uh, fork tubes. And then this is the piece de resistance. It has an Olin's rear adjustable coilover that looks like it's just about brand new. And online they still retail for $1,000. So that's something I never would have been able to afford. And uh, definitely a nice upgrade. One of the some of the things that need attention, other than the engine guard, um, needs to seat. Obviously, the seat latch. I was messing around with it when I had it on my trailer, and uh, for whatever reason, that doesn't latch solid anymore. So that's got to be addressed. Uh, back tire. I'll probably need a back tire next season. I'm in South Dakota. I plan on riding it as much as I can. It was 24 degrees this morning when I started her up. Front tire looks relatively new. Running Shinkos, which I'm not opposed to. I hear they're pretty good. I believe that's an aftermarket windscreen, not sure. It's got ram mounts and some other stuff as well as rocks, bar risers. But back to things that need attention. Other than the seats and the crash bar, it has some goofy wiring going on. Uh, these go nowhere on either end. Um, I obviously have to look at the wiring for the PIAA lights. Um, so what I'm gonna do is pull the tank because the guy's got everything zip tied. Some other wiring that doesn't go anywhere from previous accessories. It does have an aftermarket uh, fuse block for adding accessories. So, but uh, I'll give you a quick, quick show of how it starts. Obviously, these German motors are always a little noisy when they first start up. But I can show you it's cold start. I just checked; it's 40 degrees, and it feels like it's 34. So this is a true cold start. Unlike them southern boys that like, oh, it's a cold start. It's 55 degrees. Turn the throttle. So, it's actually really quick. I'm coming off an 84 Honda Goldwing that made 94 horsepower, and this bike is substantially faster. Even though it's rated at 10 horsepower less, it uh, it's 250 pounds less, so it's basically like taking me off. But this bike definitely gets up and goes. Another nice upgrade somebody did. Another nice upgrade somebody did was they put all LED lights on it. Unfortunately, they did not have the resistance to the turn signals, so they do flash fast, but it doesn't bother me. Also has HID headlights. That little bit of clanking we're hearing, I think that's the timing thing that's true, which I know it's a common problem on these, but as soon as it warms up, it goes away. Never hear it again. So, and this is a, a typical fashion. The ABS might splash before you start moving. 
take care of it. But yeah, it's my 2001 R1150 GS. And I, uh, I plan to start doing some moto vlogging. So if you want to subscribe and stick around for that, stick up some GoPros and got a nice helmet. I'm gonna get me, gonna be all Vortex style. Gotta be a Vortex pro like the rest of the ADV riders. And yeah, I'll be putting up more content soon. I plan to put studded snow tires on it if I can afford to. And I'll be riding this winter. I ain't scared of a little snow. Thankfully, it's going to be a mild winter, it looks like. It's uh, December 20th here. And we haven't seen quite a tiny bit of flurry so far. So that's that's un unheard of around here. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Remember, Jesus loves you. Came to this earth and died for our sins so we could have eternal salvation with the Father in heaven. Love you guys and stick around.